Do you think college professors would allow a freshman at the age of 15 to conduct research under their wing like you did your, during your junior year, or am I too young? You can probably speak better to that. Okay. Absolutely. I think you just have to find the right professor who has the availability to take you on. That being said, professors are really busy. So when I was a junior, I was like, what, 16, 17? So I was a little older than you. I had a little more experience in like biology research, but I also did like marine biology research. But I had taken AP biology. I had taken AP environmental science. Like I had taken a good number of science courses that like they were not constantly having to like hold my hand and guide me through every single step in the research process. So I was very much like doing independent research with them. And I came in with the idea. Also, the person I did research with was not a professor. The professor said no, but he directed me to his grad student who said she could mentor me. So that is also a recommendation. If you, if you guys feel like you're getting turned down by a lot of professors, grad students will often have more time to mentor you. They're also really busy, but they might be willing to even give you parts of their project that are just like small tasks here and there where you can contribute and learn the ins and outs. Yes, you might be able to find someone, but it'll take a lot of emailing. So just keep yeah. at it. <laughs> no, totally agree. Just keep emailing. And like, you got, you have to get your start somewhere and maybe they'll be like, actually, I can't right now, but in two years, reach back to me and then you can put a little date in your calendar <laughs> to get the notification. But yeah, and definitely whenever you come forward with a proposal like this, Again, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're saying what kind of qualifications you have. And it can be that you, I've taken this class and this class, that sort of thing. And those will look good. And that way they know that you're serious about this as opposed to just, I can't think of an example of a bad email, but just one without many details. Because that would mm -hmm. likely to really consider or see as an actual proposal. Yeah, make them take you seriously. Even though you're in high school, be professional. This is someone they potentially want to work. You want you want to work with them, and mm -hmm. you should make them also want to work with you. It should be like a mutual relationship. So how can you ensure that being professional?